I'm voting for Corbyn because... I'm voting for Jeremy Corbyn because... I'm voting for Jeremy Corbyn because I think he can actually change the country to become a more fairer and acceptable society. He's the only candidate that believes slashing and burning your way through every public service people hold dear is not the way out of a crisis. Having loud, outspoken opinions and sticking to them for decades. Corbyn has all his political career been anti-war. Can only and, and engender trust in this politician, and trust is so rare. <laughs> I think he seems a man of principle. He's a he's a signpost, not a weather vane. I think the Labour Party has been all too riddled with career politician in recent years. The Labour Party needs to be the real Labour Party and not just Tory light. Labour needs to lead a strong opposition to the Conservative Party in Westminster. I think. Corbyn's really the only candidate that seems to offer that. Everybody else is centre ground. The whole political system in this country is at stalemate and there is no alternative voice. I believe that Jeremy is providing an alternative voice. That's why I'm voting for him. Everybody's been looking for a new brand of politics and I think that is represented in him. And old people are flocking, young people are flocking. They're all coming for the same thing. Ever since the Tories came back in, we've seen hundreds if not thousands of young people coming out onto the streets um, against the austerity, against the Tories. Corbyn's going to offer young people um, I think a bit more hope that maybe you know there is an alternative socially and economically. His green policies, his uh, policies on ge uh, gender equality, t needless to say tuition fees. Broader um, educational structure, things like apprenticeships and higher education. Bringing back maintenance grants, bringing back EMA, these are things that, um, that I really hold really hold close to my heart. More opportunities um, and incorporating a wider scope of talents. Graduate employment, rent caps, I mean if that doesn't convince young people to vote for him, investing in our future, then I don't know what else would. I'm very, very pleased to see that coming out of the Labour Party. Our generation, we've faced the cuts, we've faced our tuition, fee, uh, tuition fees being hiked, we've faced our EMA being cut, our schools being academised. We've got a housing market that works in the interests of private developers alone, where young people can't claim housing benefits. Uh, we're having hideous cuts to education, youth services as well. There's very few jobs. The NHS has been cut to shreds. Young people can not only get on the prop can't get on the property ladder, but can't even afford the rent. Basically everything that comes with becoming an adult, we're finding incredibly hard. We are suffering uh, under this age of austerity. So of course we're going to demand drastic changes because we don't want that to be the rest of our lives. He represents the old Labour, doesn't he? That kind of, that which dissolves in stature. But I think a lot of people believe that's where the Labour Party should stand. The proudest times that this country has ever had politically has been times when we have like raised the trade unions out of nothing. It's been times when we've uh, won the weekend, when we've won the right for workers to vote. As I say, Labour don't seem to be putting up much of a fight at the moment, whereas Jeremy is. Jeremy Corbyn has quite like a rich history in fighting for um, social equality. The fight for black people, the fight for gay people, the fight for women, um, the fight for immigrants. This isn't just about um, idealism, this is about a pragmatic model of the future. He's turned around and he's given a viable financial plan. The way back to sustainability, the way back to growth, the way back to a fairer future is not by cutting and slashing away at everything. Young people are fed up of this mode of British politics. They have been waiting for something to happen. They have been waiting for something to feel passionate about. And Corbyn is offering that. Now there's like a real youth movement that's got a focus and it's got a direction and people feel like there's going to be a real change. So we're thinking about our futures, what we want to do when we want to have kids, when we want to move into houses. We're caring about everybody's future. Our needs need to be met and our voices need to be heard. Now we're getting to the point where young people are starting to be more of a driving force in British politics, are coming out, are voting. He's offering a voice and he's given us a reason to believe and he's given us a reason to want to be active.